ominous uh, hit that you will be coming across that of the border. sixth or seventh intercostal space. This is the subcostal region and this is the uh, intercostal space and then you angle the probe a bit in this. This will be your uh, towards the, I mean angling towards the left shoulder of the patient or uh, angling a little bit. You may have to go upwards a little bit in some patients and then with the same maneuver you will be able to get the view that is in front of you that I am getting from this position that I have stood initially. From this uh, view, you see that this is the gauntlet and this is the common fire This is the inferior vena cube. This is the river. So the quarter vein runs at 90 degrees compared to the neck of the gauntlet. gallbladder has different shapes and is located differently in every patient. As for example in this patient, the gallbladder appears to be folded upon itself. This is the posterior segment, this is the anterior, this is the fundal region and you see it, it appears to be folded upon itself. So the fundus is going downwards This is one of the shapes that you will be seeing in some patients. And you can see that uh, the landmark is running at right angle to the neck of the gallbladder, the posterior vein. So this is a normal gallbladder. Only that the only thing is that it is folded upon itself. And you can see here that this is the portal vein and this is a common bile duct that runs anterior to the portal vein also. Thank you. Now this is the another shape of the gallbladder. Most often we come we will come across this type of a shape of the gallbladder. It measures 8.5 centimeters in length and 3.3 in anterior posterior diameter and this is the portal vein. If you see there is a calculus along with the sludge. This is the calculus, single calculus, this is the shadow shadow of the calculus and this low level echoes the, uh, this is the small amount of sludge within the gallbladder. This is the portal vein and this is the anterior wall, fundus region, posterior wall of the gallbladder. So the gallbladder is otherwise uh, normal except that you see a calculus along with small amount of sludge within it. commonest uh, that you will be coming across that of the gallbladder. sixth or seventh intercostal space. This is the subcostal region and this is the uh, intercostal space and then you angle the probe a bit 
in this this will be your uh, towards the I mean angling towards the left shoulder of the patient or uh, angling a little bit you may have to go upwards a little bit in some patients and then with the same maneuver you will be able to get the view that is in front of you that I am getting from this position that I have showed you initially. Now in this uh, view, you see that this is the gauntlet and this is the compound and this is the inferior vena cube. This is the liver. So the quarter vein runs at 90 degrees equal to the neck of the or bladder. A video to see the scanning plan for the gallbladder in supine posture and then moving further. This is the subcostal region, this is the mid region of uh, this diaphyte process, lower region, mid region, subcostal region. Rotate the probe, enter the subcostal region, and then angle the probe towards the patient's left side so that you will get this view. Now this is exactly the place from where I showed you have just seen the plan in which the fundus is being cut off and rest of the anterior and posterior wall with clear movement of the gallbladder with the portal vein at right angle and this is the inferior vena cava in longitudinal section uh, is seen. Now if you ask, this is one way, at times, most of the times you get the gallbladder in this way in total. If you don't, then there is a trick that uh, you place the probe below the costal margin. Number sounds like this house opening. Ask the patient to take a deep breath and hold it. And now you see, uh, you can get the total of the gallbladder. Now this is where I am. In this case, now this is scanning plan number two. Place the probe below the costal margin, same, this this is the almost, almost mid, uh, mid region of the subcostal area. I have placed the probe below the costal margin at about uh, uh, 60 degree angles with the marker pointing towards the patient's right shoulder. And uh, from here, I angle the probe in this direction towards the patient's left shoulder and asked him to take a deep breath to get the view because by just placing in this uh, angle in this way or this way you just I am seeing only bowel gases and nothing else. So remember first point we will see that this is the subcostal region, mid region, angle the probe Ask the patient to take a deep breath and hold it. Lumbar sounds like sounds like And here we are. Now you see on the ultrasound that in this view I can get the gallbladder with fundus, with portal vein, and with hepatic vein. So this is one of the another way of. And this is the another way of uh, seeing the gallbladder along with the. Uh, so, and the third one, curvately, ask the patient to turn to the left lateral decubitus posture. And then place the probe as you place it below the subcostal region. Angle it in the same way and you will get the gallbladder in its full length. If not, you can ask the patient to take a deep breath and hold it. See, again, this is what I was doing uh, and placing the probe when the patient was supine. Mm -hmm. This is the subcostal area, this is the mid region. Place the probe perpendicular, angle it acutely towards the patient's uh, left shoulder 
and here we are. See what I am getting in this time. So I am getting all of the uh, gallbladder in total length, so I don't have to ask the patient to take a deep breath and hold it. This, so in this way you can see the gallbladder. This is the third way of uh, scanning the gallbladder. Now one thing is very important, we should always see the fundus of the gallbladder. Most of the calculi are uh, at times uh, lloyd in the fundus of the gallbladder and as fundus has many different shapes and uh, as well as many different locations, anatomical locations vary from patient to patient. Uh, so always see the fundus of the uh, gallbladder. Now for to see the fundus of the gallbladder it's very easy. See you just place the probe again. Now you place this is the subposterior region. This is the mid portion, place the probe like this and angle it downwards. Place the probe below the costal margin and angle it downwards. And angle it downwards till you get the full view. And this and on me and move the probe upwards in case if you want if you feel like. If, or if you are getting the uh, fundus in the, at this region by moving the probe downwards, fine enough. Not move a little upwards. If not, ask the patient to take a deep breath and hold it so that you can get your desired view. Now here we are on the ultrasound. Now in this particular patient, this is the fundus of the gallbladder. You can't miss a stone in this region. So I am, we, now here we are seeing the fundus with the body, anterior wall, posterior wall. This is the port vein that you will be seeing in this uh, scanning plan. This is the inferior vena cava, this is this one. This is the aorta and this is the right renal artery in transfer section. So these are the scanning plans for the gallbladder. At times even if you feel problem, then you may have to ask the patient to stand up and scan so that uh, the viscerals come down and you will be able to locate the uh, gallbladder. There is another scanning plan, situation, that is in when the patient is in so fine posture. If, uh, if I, if the, so you place the probe. Below the, uh, in the epigastric region. Yeah, this is the lipid process. This is the epigastric region. And uh, angle it. Now from here you angle it towards the patient's uh, right, the right side in this fashion. And then angle it towards the patient's shoulder. Right shoulder. If, if you feel difficulty, ask the patient to take a deep breath. Most of the time, this is the uh, area from where you get the gallbladder. You can get the gallbladder from this area. Now, this is the the difficulty is in this in this plan, uh, scanning plan. We you, you are, it is difficult to see the fundus of the gallbladder. But just to, in case we're getting difficulty in finding the gallbladder, place the probe obliquely in line with the subcostal region, acutely angle it, and you will get the gallbladder as you as we are seeing here. Now this is what I am getting by placing the probe. This and you can see that in this case, by scanning in this plan, I do find the gallbladder. This is the median lobar fissure, uh, interlobar fissure or median lobar fissure. This is the gallbladder, this is the neck of the gallbladder, and this is the landmark for the identification of the gallbladder. So with this uh, scanning plan in which you place the probe, uh, 
in line with the subcostal area, uh, with the upper part of the probe in, in line with the xerophyte process and acutely angling it towards the patient's right shoulder, you get the impression of the gallbladder. You find the gallbladder with median lobal feature being it. Uh, it's the landmark for identification. Thank you. Now this is the another shape of the gallbladder. Most often we come, we will come across this type of a shape of the gallbladder. It measures 8.5 centimeters in length and 3.3 in anterior posterior diameter. And this is the portal vein. If you see there is a uh, calculus along with the uh, sludge. This is the calculus, single calculus. This is the shadow, shadow of the calculus. And this low level echoes, the, uh, this is the small amount of sludge within the gallbladder. This is the portal vein. And this is the interior wall, fundus region, posterior wall of the gallbladder. So the gallbladder is otherwise uh, normal, except that you see a calculus along with small amount of sludge within it.